Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. All right, quick check in, quick check in, quick check in. Welcome to the musical lecture. Zen. You can see the caption. Yeah. I'll kind of keep it down, keep the volume down, and the um, intensity down a little bit. See, um, all of me comes out the 25th of March, so make certain say, yeah, you get ready for download this. I think it's gonna be a, you know, top tune in other space. You know, not, not guaranteed nowadays, so we just put it out there, and if you like it, if you like it, you download it. If you don't like it, so I say, just stop complaining to good music. Because when good music comes, you don't download it, and you don't buy it. See, so stop complaining, say you want good music, and when you get good music, you, 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 you don't download it, you don't buy it, you don't support it. All right? <clears throat> now, check, up, check out the screen. Check out the caption from a pin. It'd be a sham pirate get us get a story or a sample a old tune and create get a story. I gotta dig into that a little bit. I'm saying because here we go now. The reason why I do that alive yeah pan it there's a few reasons but I go highlight them as, as I go along. I highlight them as I go along. I'm saying? So without even wasting nobody time. See? I could jump into it. Because I see a lot of people I comment about that something here. So I just want to put in my um what you call it now. You don't call it now. It's not even my input, but it's more than that. But I'm gonna leave that input for now. See? Um before me even play with my play, I want to understand some people. Dave Kelly and Tony Kelly are two of the greatest producers them out of Jamaica. And um, I never worked with Dave, Dave Kelly, but I worked with Tony Kelly. And one thing I can tell about the brothers them, they take pride in them work people. So when I come on to them brothers, they, they take pride in them work. I remember trying to work record for Dave Kelly. At the time, I go on good. I have heads are number one. I have Nike or I have hands up, I have jacket. No, I never have jacket yet. Because I may go, I go for sing jacket for him. I have some nice tune I go in this space. Everywhere I go, I have some nice tune I go in this space. And the man said to me, say, No, I can't record for him you know, because I record too much. That Dave Kelly said to me, said, that, Right, that's what the man I show you said, him is not even a hustler in the, in the industry. The tune I go for record for him. And broke out with him and me and Nico Bam Bam go check him so, so the mission make me make up story because Nico Bam Bam did that because Stone Love sent Nico Bam Bam to get the um, the rhythm I can't believe my eyes upon see and the man and Nico said yo power say if you can record this thing because I know we power like my daddy see so all some people are talking we power really send me a road we power father power send me a road see and him not even want me to talk about it but the man who sent me to music school and everything, so Weepo was a man who you know, responsible for my career. In a major way, him and Dan Youth. Them two persons, they are Cabra. See? <clears throat> them two persons, they are instrumental in my career. Outside of the producers, them like Jeremy Harding, them and Shams, them and them people. But to keep the subject on Dave Kelly, yeah? He's a man who is prideful, he's a man who is based on what I analyze about him. So, we have to respect them and the work, and as a foundation in the industry, we have to make you know, understand when certain people are proliferate certain information, I think, say, yo, because everybody just go to be nowadays, and everybody, you know, just feel like, say, because you have a smartphone, yeah, if you just comment, or because you have, you know, the ability to text something, you must just comment and say what you want to say. I realize how people them don't really do no research. Me take time out and I do the research them, so I want to share to the people when they're gullible. The people them were objective in them reasoning. You understand what I say? But I show you how easily see, people can get. Let me just play my play before I even get it. See? 
All right, listen this. Listen to reasoning. This is a man who, the person who I go play now is a person who I respect. Never meet that person, I may not even know if he's a man or a woman. I just know that a vice come forward. And the vice will come forward and stand up for Jamaica. And he's a person who I listen to, subscribe to, and appreciate um, his analysis or whosoever it is. The analysis where they, 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 they come from the medium. See? And the person who I talk about a therapy. Because anybody will attract, you know, them best for, for um, you know, for me, we have a better Jamaica. I have to take my hats off to them, them, them persons there. So, Mr. Serapi as one of the persons there. So, this is not an attack on Serapi. But, may I show you how easily, you know, especially a person who has credibility, can say something and it just becomes humongous. It just becomes a mountain. You see what I say? And people just take it as gospel and run with it. You see? So listen to that reason now. What's the idea? Put him at the top board. A song. When you must know the song. The song is called Ghetto Story. It was performed by Baby Sham. From what I understand, um, it's a Dave Kelly production. So you already know, say, the Kelly brothers, then, you already know their track record in music is legendary at this point. But the lyrics for this song. Before we go any further, the first time I heard this song, I was confused because we know the old school version. In case I wonder which old school version. There is a song by a man named Hugh Mikes called Dance Our Story. When he said, This is a dance our story, I go by dub story. So when I heard this version, I think it was about 06, I was like, Well, I they remix this. But it was a completely different song. So, at this point, it's fair to say it's the Hugh Mike's version inspired this. But it was. Alright, we're not gonna ask our people on that, but sometimes we have to be very careful, especially when we're influential in this space. You understand what I say? We have to be very careful because remember, say, we are dealing with sheep, you know. So, Sir P have a lot of sheep. Even, even me, as, me as a sheep when it comes down to Sir P flat platform. Because I'm a man who subscribe to it and listen. And I will not even call myself a sheep because I always fact check my thing, the man, double check my thing, the man. You understand me? I say I cross reference my thing. So, I even call, wouldn't even call myself a sheep. But there are many sheep, sheep, excuse me, upon the platform, them, especially when people like you and they're influential. You understand me? I say. So, when Sir P say, he must confuse because he only know the old version and when he made that version. Yeah. You see me, I say, credibility matters, especially when you have a platform, you have a platform like Sir P's platform. Credibility matters. You understand me, I say? So, right there, so Sir P, I make you know, say, he know of another version. So, when he made Baby Sham's version, he was confused. You see? But where do you think this argument come from? Where do you think this come from? I was like, hold on, they remixed this. But it was a completely different song. So, at this point, it's fair to say it's the Hugh Mike's version inspired this. But it was a classic. No, sir, please. One of them a classic. Let's get a story is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> get the story is a classic, brother. But sometimes we're oblivious to some things, too, but we have to be very careful the way we phrase things and put forward. Because we are dealing with sheep. But where does this, where this, where this argument come from? Because <laughs> I saw the argument, you know. I saw the argument. Zane. I saw the argument prior to Sir P talking about it, you know, but I never say anything because I said, I just a little man. On a platform, Zin. I just like a man on a platform. Um, I do some things to get views. I mean, also nowadays, you know, man, you just make up some things and see something around with it and forget some views. And you know, people are eat them food. But they can't even knock a person. 
But when it comes at the expense of putting down someone's work or calling someone's work into question, because it's not easy to write a hit song, you know, people. It's not easy to write a hit song, you know. Remember that, you know, people. Especially in a competitive industry here. It's not easy to write a hit song. So the first time, the first time, me hear the, me hear the argument, you know. Me hear, the, me hear somebody speak on this, this topic here with Baby Sham Chun. Get a story. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a page. Me I scroll through the, the YouTube and I see some video. Of, you know, because I love watch, me love watch the history of dance hall and, you know, because me is, me is a person inclined to music, especially the old, old school music. So I see a page, Reggae Dance Hall Vault. So Reggae Dance Hall Vault, the man actually did a story on Baby Sham and you, Mike's um, dance, hall, um, dance Hall story versus Get a Story. And the man went on and he said a lot of things. And I said, I just want to look at my book. When I see it, get a lot of views. But after a while, I see it, 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 it was no longer on the page. So I realized, oh, it come like this person from this platform realized that he heard I maybe mean, go do further research and realize say, this him story shaky. So he took it down. However, yeah, come here, look, come here. I can't find it. I say, yo, where the story there? <laughs> where the big, you know, the man did a whole presentation and said, baby, I'm chewing a pirate and one bag of thing. And I say, wow, the man I got strong. And I say, the people them now. You know, bonfire upon baby Shama say, yo, I hope baby Shama give the man money and I hope and so dance all that is thief and so them take the, the, the man them thing all the while and you know, give man credit and I think I see how the man mention say I saw the boy Vegas, you know, thief, you know, heads eye from a man. <laughs> I say, For real? So the man take down his presentation, right? He take down his presentation. But him leave up the song. So when Sir P mentioned, when Sir P said what he said the other day, Zane, of course you know, say, <laughs> the sheep them heard his voice. And them find the song. <laughs> the sheep them heard his voice and find the song. You see? Now, in all honesty, you would have to be somebody where is a dancehall fan, is a person, with a producer, maybe a person who deep into the music, for no reader, you know, run with the story. You see? So them find the song. So hear, hear the song. Hear the song. Come, we don't know Baby Sham's version. I'm not going to play it for them. But I'm going to play that version. Yeah. You see? Because we don't know the Baby Sham version. See? Yeah, the version, yeah. Yo, tell them, I the dance hall story, and the rub and dub story, and the dance hall story, and the rub and dub story. Yo, me tell them, I said those days I remember, those days are where we miss. We used to go to dance and we get dance like this. Some of the chat 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 and them a whine and a twist. Say so one sister line, a man and a friend near this. Them a kill where them a do, them could a do. Pull up. So of course, the first comment, you go see. Politics, politics, watch, brought me here. So, may I show you, say, as, as, is a, is a sheep mentality, you know, here. A person is not afraid to say who sent them, you know, who led them. A person say, Politrix watch brought me here. Now, if you look on even the label and them thing, you know, it's cleverly done, you know. Just look on the label, you know. So, I'm not even chastise nobody. I'm more going to use this moment of it. For, not even like set the record straight, but I'm going to use the moment for show you so that's why you're not going to run with everything we are here. You understand what I'm saying? Do not run with everything we are here. Sometimes you have to step back and you know you well want to comment and you well want to disrespect somebody, but sometimes you, sometime you have to just say, you know what? Let me just, let me just chill. You understand what I'm saying? So the first comment the person has said, 
Politrix Watch brought me here. Big up Sir P. Live in London. Jamaica, my heart. Yes, your influence as Sir P is. That's why I say we have to be careful when we are put forward certain things, especially when we are validate the argument that we are put through with speech like, oh, I was surprised when I hear the version here because I don't go, go know the whole version. So, right? So, we could have said, Sir P get caught in a lie. You see what I say? When we be basically break down the thing, you know, you can, you can make up your mind on that still. You see? So Dave Durrell said, I hope Sham giving you, Mike, some royalties from publishing. Thanks for exposing the thing, Sir P. You see, Sir P powerful? J. Rang said, Why folks calling Sham a pirate? The man was inspired by you, Mike's, and revamped the tune for his generation. I'm sure someone inspired King Yellowman style. Did he pirate? Kanika said, big up Sir P. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know about this original version of the song. Sham did. Mark Douglas, salute Sir P. Cheetah Official Vivo. Jano, I never heard this song before today. Not even did know of this artist. And I'm in my 40s. Now, now pay attention to that. Not, not even the year of this artist, and I'm in my 40s. Big up Sir P. Again. Jeremiah, Sir P got me here. Pull up, pull up from the positive to negative. Lord have mercy. Hear that? From the positive to the negative. So I must say, Sir, um, you, Mike's one positive and baby sham one negative. And the person I beg up a ball to the Lord. Lord have mercy. And of course, I would up people like that. See it? Lance. I learned about this song on March 2nd, 2022, thanks to Sir P. I never heard this before, thanks Sir P. Sir P sent me here, another person said. Another person said, Sir P sent me here. Yeah? After listening to the song, some Sham sounds like he counteracting the man. One spreading peace and unity. One promotes and glorifies violence. Too big, Sam. But it's a shame what Sham did to the song. So we're going to leave it here because I worry about him. Enough sheep go, 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 go run in a, in a, in a, in a thing after them hear the song. Now, in all honesty, if you don't know nothing about music, you would have maybe jump and come into and burn out baby Sham. So I say, that's why it said, judge not lest thee be judged. See, in them words that come, you know, inspirational words. Now, first thing you have to understand, say, people. The first time this song was uploaded was 10 years ago. You see? Right on the heels of Ghetto Story being a big international hit. This song was uploaded. Right? Now, anybody know anything about music? Yeah? You that it here says, I don't play this. You that it know... Say, even the EQ where them use on the vocal, the sound where them use on the vocal for you, mics, is not even um, ancient. <clears throat> it's modern, right? Excuse me. You that hear, but you have to know music. You have to understand music if you know that still. But one thing we may not make a getaway from. If you, mics, did this song, why would be singing, I remember those days? If this happened in the era where you, Mike, supposed to be doing the cha-cha-cha or whatever I was doing in a few days, why would you be singing, I remember those days when people used to this and people used to that? And Miss Sister Lana and Sister Sonia and Sister Rere. Because I remember in a you, Mike, days, a Sister Lana, them used to sing both. So it would be in a few days. Say, Muna say, him remember. So right there, so if you make it no say, right there, son, right there and that, right then. Right there and then you're supposed to understand, say, oh, the man you talk about, I remember. Remember when? Because it was in a theme era these things were happening. In a you Mike's era. You see? So why would he be singing about, I remember, from them time there? You understand what I'm saying? So that me not go excuse nobody with, because at, at least you must have some form of critical thinking for say, yo, but why am I saying, say, I remember? 
You see? Now, I could even go to the phrasing. If you don't realize that him actually a phrase, the same way like a baby sham phrase. Story, in a story, him a phrase like baby sham. So that's a giveaway if you're musical. Zane, but if you're not musical, I'm going to make, a, make that pass you. Zane? No. The persons them will do this. The persons them will do this. What them do is, them get a old label. And them call the cornerstone. The cornerstone is a man named Cornerstone who used to hang out, you know, based on my research and find out who this brother Cornerstone is. Cornerstone used to be a man who hang out, you know, at the studio. Pan the corner, so he called him Labour Cornerstone. There is no history of this song prior to Baby Sham song. No history. Zero. Zero, zero history of this song prior to Baby Sham song. Zero history. Secondly, if you ask all of the greats, them, nobody never used to DJ this way. This was not how the DJ in what would have been you, Mike's era. Lady, I don't know this. Ah, lady, I'm not about to ask you nothing because you ask me now who did the song first and you come from the era where you're supposed to know. So I'm not about to ask you. You see? People were not DJing this way in a human, what was supposed to be. This would be like even before even your era, lady, and. See? This would have you, Mike, seem to be before even your era. But if you mics have done this song. Yeah? Let us go to even the. But I could go to the, 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 even the phrasing at it. And the dance song story. And the rubber dub story. You realize you passed the culture reading that? I'm not going to really bash anybody who decides that they want to sheep it out. But the people who attack say, um, baby, some are pirate. Sometimes when I have a whole on and. You see, I said, just hold off, hold off, hold, hold on a gun a little bit when you hear things. Because I know so we're gullible and we love run with things. And... But you can't put people hard work into question. You understand what I say? But you realize you passed the culture reading this? You might never record and pass the culture reading. A pass the coach reading this in a pass the coach up on the left hand side. So if you mics, right? If this is you mics song, dance hard story, it would have been released and it would be played. It would have been played with the mighty diamonds, pass the coach up on the left hand side, and, and the youth them from England we do pass the dutchy on the left hand side. It would have played with them song there. How comes it's a, how, how, how nothing can say, yeah, but a coach read him that. How comes that the first we are here, a man, the man has sang, and it sounds so good. You think say a man could have do that song ya? Yeah? Back in a you Mike's days, and this no boss. Remember say you know, nobody never used to DJ so you know. Remember say we are talking about. Remember say you Mike should be the first one to take the thing from wait the town and tell the people and tell them my ways and and then Lord say hear me now and then the thing the musical thing called you know remember said that are you Mike's era you know or if you Mike's within a brigadier them era it would be more like you know the one two boom or them DJ straight and them DJ all the lyrics them long and and if you come from Louis led to them era Era, excuse me. Or any one of them man the era. Or even yellow man them era. If you might say come from yellow man era. Well, we don't know him in a yellow man era. So that means that he would have been before yellow man era. You see? But remember, yellow man them era was, you know, and, and the world, it was ba bam, ba bam, ba 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 bam, bam. And that was the vibe. You see me? So, Suzy one, she has a panties, I'm, and them type of vibe they did go on in that era. There. You see me, I say, keep in a session before God come. Wish my, it was a fight that dropped there. Because the rhythm, them man did a boop, 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 boop. And them things used to go on in the era there, a DJ. But it is possible say a man could have this break on it with a melodious tune like this. Because uh, it's a tune melodic. So he say, yo, that man would have been one of the originators of Sing J. 
It will not be stitch of them. It will not be bail of them. It will not be shove of them. You see what I say? Because I remember saying none. It will not be it will not be major worries them. You see? Because I remember say bull them used to chop it, you know. Hey, hey, my man, my king, pam, 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 pam. I said them used to chop it and then Papa said now everybody they come, come take that chop there. For that era there, right? But you would have to be musical or you'd have to be a dancehall fan or a reggae fan to understand that part of it.